Hello, Wayne Weather Watchers. Chief Meteorologist Nicholas Ferreri checking in from the Live Doppler 15 Fury Weather Center with some breaking news that I don't normally get to share with you on an average night across northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. The news is that the northern lights will be visible, or at least have the chance at being visible across our region tonight into early Thursday morning. Let's talk about what's happening here, why this could pan out, and what we'll see. Now, a lot of us over the years have seen pictures of the northern lights, those great colors in the sky streaming from the top of the sky down to the horizon. A lot of times, though, those photos come from places like far northern Alaska, Canada, and other locations near the pole. Is it going to look as spectacular as that here in our area tonight? Most likely not. But it is possible for us to see some neat colors in the sky, especially a greenish hue, as we get into the window from 10 p.m. tonight, this is late Wednesday night, December 9th, through about 1 a.m. Thursday, December 10th. That's our best window of opportunity. Let me share with you the forecast from the University of Alaska of where the northern lights will be visible tonight, or at least have the potential at being visible. You can see the line of visibility extends south of us, as far south as central Indiana and central Ohio. A lot of times when we have the chance at seeing the northern lights here in our region, we end up in this area where the line of visibility really ends and we head farther to the south to this thinner green line. The chance of seeing the northern lights in this part of the country, it's not zero, but it is really low. You want to be in this area of shading if you want any chance of seeing the northern lights. Of course, these spots farther to the north have an even higher potential than we do, but we'll take what we can get around here. Now, why does this happen? Well, NASA Ambassador Tony Rice sent along the explanation to us, and it's really interesting. A coronal mass ejection, that comes from the sun. I'm going to post a video of this uh, here on the page. You'll see it. It's from YouTube. If you want to see what a coronal mass ejection looks like, you can take a look. This happened earlier in the week, and the sun sent a burst of energy and particles our way. Now, normal amounts of this energy are de deflected around our planet by a donut-shaped magnetic shield. But increased levels from solar storms, like what happened earlier this week, can find their way into that donut hole. And when you get enough energy, well, that line where the aurora is visible extends further south, and more and more spots have the opportunity to see the northern lights just like we saw on that map a second ago. So again, the best chance tonight, Wednesday night, December 9th, from 10 o'clock at night through early tomorrow morning, Thursday, December 10th at 1 a.m. There is another chance to see the northern lights tomorrow night into early Friday morning. However, that chance not as good as what we have here tonight. So if you head outside in that 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. window, let me know if you're able to spot anything cool in the sky. Let me know by my email at the station, Facebook, Twitter. I'd love to hear from you and hear if we get some confirmed reports. That's the latest now from the Live Doppler 15 Fury Weather Center. Thanks for checking out more about the Northern Lights in our area. We'll see you over on Wayne 15.